Hi friends! I am so glad to see you again if you're new here. Hi, my name is Annie and I hope everybody is having a wonderful day. So today we are going to be unboxing for our February beauty boxes. I purchased five months worth of Allure Beauty Box and BoxyCharm and in the end of the fifth month we are going to decide which box I'm going to keep. So let's get started. We're going to start with Allure Beauty Box this time. Ta-da! So I actually get to choose one of the product in my Allure Beauty Box this month. It is kind of rare we get to choose from um, Allure Beauty Box because Allure Beauty Box is fixed for everybody. Like everybody gets the same things. And this time we get to choose. So we got to choose between this two. And guess which one I chose? One, two, three. I chose the eyeshadow palette. <laughs> so the first item is this one. This is the Beauty Bakery, the Chosen Bun eyeshadow palette. And it retails for $38. And the other product that we get to choose from is the Beauty Bakery Milk and Honey Highlighting Palette. It is also um, $38. Let's do two shimmer to matte. Ooh, very, very silky. Okay. Very, very pigmented, both shimmer and matte shadows. Next, we have YSL Beauty Lash Clash Extreme Volume Mascara. This is the trial size, I believe, from what I googled, you can get this for free as a sample from a Sephora. I don't know how that works, but that's what it says on the website. I never own anything YSL, so I don't know how this would perform. But if it's full size, it's for 0.3 ounces, $29. It's a pretty huge one. I will have to try it out and let you know. Next up, we have this The Alba White Trouble First Aromatic Spray Serum. Not gonna lie, whenever I saw it, I thought it was a room spray or like a perfume spray of some sort. But whenever I Google it and YouTube it, because I want to know how to pronounce the name, and uh, I see a, a lot of people review it, it is apparently a Korean skincare. And people really like it. So now... <laughs> now I am super duper excited. It retails for $45 for 120 ml. This is a full size. So you're supposed to shake it. And let's look at the mist. Do you see it? It's so fine. And it smells so good. It's not too strong. Let me put some on my face. Oh, it smells so good. It put me in a such good mood. I'll have to try this out and let you know. Such a good mood. <laughs> and then we have this Tula Skincare, the Cult Classic Purifying Face Cleanser. It retails for $34 for 6.7 ounces. This is a full size product. And I'm not gonna use it because I've had it from my previous boxy charm so this is going to a giveaway i'm building up next we have this she mask this is also korean skincare product as well it's sweet chef beet plus vitamin a fresh pressed sheet mask it has beet plus retinol i'm excited to try i love she masks and this retails for three dollars and fifty cents Lastly, we have this from Sephora. This is the Sephora Collection Nourishing Moisturizer with Prebiotics. And this is the trial size, and I can't find a price for it, but if you want to purchase the full size, it will be for 1.69 ounces for $18. I can never have enough good moisturizer, so I will be trying this out. It doesn't doesn't seem like it has any fragrance. Mm -hmm. 
this is more on the richer side but at the same time not too heavy it is still very very easily absorbed very nice and not sticky hmm. and that's all for a lower beauty box let's go on to boxy charm boxy charm so coins are getting deducted because i did not receive the information card i don't like that i like to know what's inside my box and how much it costs but it doesn't even have what i got <laughs> Since I didn't get an information card from BoxyCharm, I will be telling you the information based on their BoxyCharm website. So the first thing is this Refreshment Pearly Body Wash in the scent Citrus Springs. It retails for $14 for 295 mol. I've never received a body wash from BoxyCharm before. Like, I've had BoxyCharm before. I started this series, so I don't know how I feel about it. So let's smell it. If it smells good, it's not half bad, you know. I don't hate it, but it kind of smells like baby oil or baby powder to me. So not half bad, but not something I want to receive in my boxy charm. But anyways, next up we have this from Beauty Bakery. Proof is in the pudding eyeshadow palette and this retails for $38 they are both really neutral let's compare yeah both are pretty neutral to me since I'm keeping this palette I am putting this palette into a giveaway next we have this give them Lala beauty Hydro Matte Liquid Lipstick. It retails for $16 and it is in the shade Booty Call. It's a pretty color. Let's put this on. Oh well. I think it would be a little too light if I wear it by itself. But it's personal preference. It actually dry down really, really matte. And it is not sticky at all. But somehow, my lips feel really dry and they feel kind of powdery. I don't know. Next up, we have Lawless. Forget the filler lip plumper line smoothing gloss. This is in the color Rosy Outlook. And it's retail for $25. I am not a big fan of getting two lip products in a box. It smells so sweet. <laughs> it's supposed to plump my lips, okay? This applicator is kind of cool. It's curved. We will compare our lips later in the end of this video. Lastly, this is my chosen item for Boxy Charm. This is by Rare Beauty Liquid Touch Weightless Foundation in the shade 150C. It retails for $30 for 28 mol. I've never owned anything Rare Beauty. And it is by Selena Gomez. So I am excited to try. I don't know if this is my color. I'm really bad at choosing foundation shade. Online or in store. Doesn't matter. Mm, doesn't matter. <laughs> Huge applicator. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see on my hand. Ooh. Is it too light? Mm, it's 
Oh, right? Not too light, right? I can always fix it if it's too light. Hmm. Excited? I'm excited to try. Since it's almost the end of this video, let's put it on my face. Let's see? Yeah, it's definitely a little too light. I definitely have to try it out. I definitely have to try it out. It's been a good five minutes. Let's check on my lips. I'll put a before right here or up here, doesn't matter. I definitely like this gloss. Tingling sensation is not too bad. But I don't know if it's like pong pong since I can't see the before and after right now. But just the gloss itself is pretty juicy and plumping. And that's everything from Allure Beauty Box and Boxy Charm. Which box do you like better? And which box do you think I like better? I don't know. I'm struggling again. <laughs> I kind of want to call it a tie. Well, what do you think? I was originally going to give this month win to BoxyCharm since I have two products I really, really want to try from this box and only one product from here. But I think they are both pretty, pretty, pretty similar on my scale. So I'm going to change my verdict to a tie. Yeah, because I still can't get over the fact I got a body wash and two lip products from BoxyCharm and they have no information card. So I really don't want to give the win to BoxyCharm. And for Allure Beauty Box, it's like a no harm, no fall box, you know? Like I really want to try the spray. And that's about it. All the other products are good, but not something that I must try or I must have, you know? So I think a tie is good. I think I'm gonna, call it a tie what do you think which one do you like better let me know and that concludes today's video i hope you enjoy this video and thank you for hanging out with me if you like this kind of content please like and subscribe for more content like this all right bye bye i'll see you next time